So in this video, I am super excited because we're gonna show you some top mods and hacks that people have done to their RV. Now, we're a great source of information, at least we think we are, but a lot of these ideas that we've had over the years are because we have talked to others in the RV community or seen things that others have done in the RV community. So we feel like the RV community as a whole is a great source of information. And so we're super excited because in this video, we're gonna show you mods and hacks from some of the top voices in the YouTuber RV community. So you're going to want to stay tuned. Let me show you what it's all about. Check it out. Okay, so first up are our new friends, Chris and Katrina. So we're going to go inside and they're going to tell us what their best mod is. Let's go. Your rig is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate Very that. Very lovely. Thanks. Thank you. So tell us about this mod that you guys have made that you wish you would have done way sooner. Yeah. Well, we are fairly new to the RV lifestyle, full-time RV lifestyle. And the one upgrade, the mod that we made was we replaced the mattress. Okay. And it was a fantastic decision. We should have done it much earlier. Yeah. It would have saved us a lot of sleepless nights. So, yeah. Yeah. do you want to come take a look? Yes, yes show, us, show us your bed. Okay, we're okay, back here. There it is. Nice, yeah. king size bed. Nice. King size bed. Very cool. And so Great. tell us what mattress did you guys end up going with? Mattress from Brooklyn Betty. Okay. Awesome. And um, I think it was the Aurora Hybrid. Yeah, if you okay. which, which has which the cooling was... element in it because yes. I'm a hot sleeper. Got it. And it's been a, a huge no difference to game changer. Because I get this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah 10 that's what we have too. Yeah. So awesome. this is one of the things that I think, you know, this is everyone should consider right from the get go, upgrading that mattress. Yeah. Awesome, for sure. And now tell us your channel name so everybody can go follow you guys. Yes, our everyday getaway. Thank you so much, well, guys. Thank you. It's been, it's an honor, it's a pleasure. Yeah. You guys are great. As you heard Chris and Katrina mention, their best mod was their mattress. And they just happened to have upgraded to the same mattress that Ben and I upgraded to as well, which is a new mattress from rvmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. Their mattresses are made right here in the US and ship conveniently to you for free. We went with the Aurora Lux hybrid mattress and it's been great having a mattress that feels like a real bed and not an RV bed. And since they offer different firmness options, heights, dimensions, RVmattress.com is a great resource for bedding needs for RVs, vans, campers, and even home. We were sleeping so well in our RV that we got a, another mattress from RV Mattress for our bed in our glamper hideaway, which is our home base. Their mattresses come in three firmness options and have a 120 night sleep guarantee. And speaking of this guarantee, when we went to order our mattress, we thought after looking at the website that we would want the Aurora Lux Hybrid mattress in a medium firmness. So that's what we had them send to us. However, after sleeping on it, we felt it was a little too soft for our liking. So we let them know and they sent us a firm one with no hassle and it's been perfect since. It was a super easy process to get in swap out. The process to have it shipped to us and then get it into the RV was super simple. Their mattresses come rolled up in a box and then wrapped in plastic. So when our mattress arrived, we hoisted it into the RV. Now they are pretty heavy when they come and it was a two person job and then unwrap the plastic and it literally poofed right up. All of their mattresses come with a 10 year warranty. So we're set into well after we are empty nesters. One of the reasons that we have this channel is to share with you and the RV community products we really love and use ourselves. So we have partnered with RVmattress.com for a 20% off discount for our viewers. If you're looking for a new mattress, check them out at the link below, or you can go to RVmattress.com forward slash grateful and get your 20% off with the code grateful. So next up are our friends, Chris and Aaron. And so I am really excited to see what they've got to show us because I've heard that they have got the dish on some stuff and you're going to want to know about it. So let's go check it out. Hello. Hi. Hey guys. Come on in. Good to see you guys again. Nice to see Welcome. you. Welcome. Thanks for letting us in your rig. This is really spacious. Thank you. Thank you. Like yeah. I didn't expect that it would feel this big and open. That's we've, what most people say. Yeah, we've been in this for a year now. We were in a Sprinter van before, so like this feels like a palace to us. Oh, Mansion. I bet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. So today we're going to talk about a mod and a hack 
And my name is Aaron. This is my wife, Chris. We're from Iron Iron Travels and Healthy RV Living. I'm going to talk about the mod. Chris is going to talk about the hack. Awesome. And it's right here next to us. So All right. this is a lovely 12 volt compressor style refrigerator. And there's a, we just did this. So we're kind of excited about yeah. this. This yeah. works really well for boondocking for us. And one of the great things about it is this is 10 cubic feet. It fits right in an eight cubic foot slot. So you immediately Whoa. get 20% more capacity in this thing and so when you installed this you didn't have to mod no, the space at all it just was like a right nice and the, wow yeah and yeah. the reason is is because the absorption style fridges they have that big cooling fin on the inside so it right. takes up all that space so in this it uh, actually gives you the full unit so and the compressor makes it a lot more efficient so you get this even cooling there's a fan in there so yeah. your food doesn't spoil really works great in that aspect so here's my biggest question will it keep ice cream frozen oh it's yeah rock hard rock, whoa rock, look at that rock hard in there oh my gosh that this, is amazing this basically works just like a residential refrigerator but in a 12 volt and so the energy savings are amazing it runs on roughly five to ten amps and our solar and our lithium batteries keep this thing going the whole time. Yeah, so with wow. boondocking and power conservation, like it's a huge benefit to not have to sit and worry about the drain of your refrigerator right. or yes. like right. switching to propane and sipping on propane. There's times too where like for whatever reason like that pilot light has gone out and then yeah. it's like flashing Indian. the no LP mm -hmm. and you're yeah. like, oh, we gotta figure out what's going on. 24 Switch. seven, this yeah. thing is just on, running, working. Like you don't worry about anything. You don't have to worry about the level. Like it can, yeah, you have to worry if your RV's not level mm -hmm. with that ammonia on that yeah. absorption style. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's basically just that. That is awesome. I have so many hacks that are specific to cooking and kitchen and water and trash for healthy eating because I am a fitness and nutrition coach. That's my business. We practice what we preach and we cook all of our meals right here in our RV. So some of the top tips that I've learned along our four years of RVing. Number one, get some good airtight containers. Oh. These are plastic, so they're lightweight, and they're clear so you can see what's in them. When I buy vegetables, produce, you wanna keep them dry and airtight. So take them out of the plastic that they come in, put them in here with a dry paper towel on the bottom and a dry paper towel on the top. And what happens is with time, the condensation will go directly onto the towel instead of making your produce soggy. It'll keep it crisp. Mm. So about halfway through the week, I'll come in, I'll check on all of my containers and I'll swap this out for a fresh dry one. Okay. I put this aside, I save it, I let it dry out and I use it for dirty jobs like cleaning the blackstone or wiping down the countertops, things yeah. like that. So there's yeah. no waste. And my veggies last an entire week. What? Yes. I Shut never have up. a problem. And before I did this, they would last days and they would right. be slimy. That's my biggest thing is like, I always feel like that I'm throwing away produce and I hate like that's yeah. if there's one thing i hate because i literally just feel like i might as well just be like chucking dollar bills in right the trash. yeah and you know vegetables are so important for us to eat so yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> next she's like hint hint <laughs> some other tips <laughs> along with repackaging your food when you buy food at the store it comes in huge bulky packages the stores want you to think you're getting a lot for your dollars so a common offender is a big clamshell that you buy lettuce in. When we lived in our van, that would literally take up half of our fridge. Yeah. So put it in a gallon bag, again with the paper towels. This I've been eating my way through so it's not full, but a big giant clam from like Sam's Club or Costco will stuff perfectly into this gallon size bag. Nice. So use gallon size bags to remove bulky packaging. And then also when you're out boondocking, you don't get stuck with a giant clamshell taking up half your garbage space. Mm -hmm. So it's not only saving space in your fridge, but saving space in your trash. That's awesome. So I love it. I have one more really good one. Okay, let's hear it. I mean, I just got on a roll with the food. <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. passionate. So I do all my food prep. We buy bulk to save money. And so like, I like to put my meat in portion baggies. So this came in a four pound package at Costco. Okay. When I buy it, I put it into individual portions. So we'll cook this in one dinner. I'll also have like a couple of things in the fridge. So I have a couple of thawed out ready to go meals. So I have two things of meat in here. Everything else is in the freezer and it's all in pre-portioned baggies. You can just move out from the freezer just, to the fridge when you're ready to defrost it. Exactly, so then nice. you're not wasting anything, zero spoilage. And the other beautiful part is you don't have any raw chicken juice mm. or any chicken fat trimmings or any of those big containers that start to smell yeah. foul in two days in the heat. Right. 
So again, it's managing trash, it's managing waste, dishwater, and just wasting food in general. And you're eating And you're good. eating healthy. You're eating healthy. Yeah. Yeah. And it's super fast to put meals together because it's already like prepped. Mm -hmm. So that's what we prioritize our freezer for is proteins. Before you put it in the freezer is when you convert it to how you want it to unthaw. You want it to be fast, pull it out. I don't touch anything raw, just straight to the grill. Okay. And then all I have is a Ziploc bag, which you can even use for like marinades and things mm -hmm. right in that same bag. Nice. Super easy meals. Yes. Love it. Well, thanks so much, yeah, thanks guys. Yeah, thanks for coming over. Those are great Next hacks. time we'll cook for you. All right. Yeah. We'll take you up on it for yeah. sure. Yeah. Bye. Right, cool. Thanks. So next up are our friends Chris and Martha from Venturesome Couple, and they have an amazing Alliance fifth wheel. So they're going to show us a mod that they've done that I've heard is pretty cool. So let's go check it out. Knock, knock. Hello. Come on in. Hey, guys. How's it going? Great. Good. How are you? Good. 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 Well, I have to say, I've absolutely love your rig it's so nice and so spacious thank you so, yeah we're pretty spoiled yeah you yeah. guys are definitely spoiled everybody thinks that we're out roughing it living rv life and no not so much yeah <laughs> this is rv life <laughs> exactly this is done right so tell us about your mod and show us what you guys have done yeah all right so this is two in one space so we actually had a custom dinette built in indiana yep. And this is like a split walnut with a riverbed running through epoxy pour top. And we maximized the space because the factory one was a lot smaller and spun the other way. Yeah, it was about 40 inches wide. This one we went full width, 60 inches <laughs> wide. And instead of having a single uh, dining station and then what we used to have a desk in the back, we thought we would combine both. <laughs> so we put a modification of putting the dual monitor arms on the desk because it's so deep and wide. When we want to eat dinner, we can just shove everything back oh, nice. right away we still have the dining station area but when Martha wants to work she has the ability to move things around when she's editing and be able to make videos and mm -hmm. in the meantime it's cosmetically really nice so these are just your standard office chairs they swivel the arms come up so we're able to push it in the only other big modification we had to make one because the table is so much heavier than mm -hmm. what the original one was we actually had the uh, craftsman and made them put legs on it so it's a factory mount in the rear but it has legs to help carry the load anything we do that covers at least two different purposes kind of like that small tiny yeah. living right? right if it doesn't serve two purposes it's got to go yeah this is a workstation this is a dinette it works well, for both. Well, thanks so much for sharing that, thanks. guys. Thanks for stopping by. I absolutely by. love it. It's gorgeous. So, Thank you. Thanks. So our next mod comes from Dave and Tanya with Let's Turn It Up World. So I'm pretty excited to hear what it is that they have done to their RV that they wish they would have done sooner. So Dave and Tanya, hey. thanks so much Thank for joining us. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your RV and then what you guys have done to it that yeah. has just totally revolutionized things for you. First, his name, our RV, is Desert Snow. And second, before we get into that, I want to say thank you guys so much yeah, for having yeah. us. We're real excited about you know this mod in particular and this little but big guy, tiny but mighty. First, we really enjoy our uh, Winnebago Echo just because we can get into spaces, because we like the boondocking aspect. We can still do the campground and community thing, but we can go off grid as well. One mod we're really excited about and absolutely love, we actually got a Quigley lift uh, on the vehicle, added two inch of lift, added actually these Falcon tires, which add another inch. It's actually when we bought this, we thought it was a little bit on the lower side, and this is really want to get off road, do some fun stuff, you know, winter driving and camping as well. And this really allows us to get to those spaces, get over the tougher conditions in the winter and also down a little bit more bumpy roads. And for me, I felt it was the ride. The ride yes. aspect of it, it really changed the, the feel. Usually with you know C's or B pluses, things like that, rides can feel very bouncy. And when you yes. have a lot of weight in your bounce is never a good thing. So I think it actually gives a smoother ride. You do have to keep the, the Einsight that these tires will project a five mile per hour difference, difference in this ahead. Yeah. So if we're doing wow. 60, it's really 65. So you have to think about those things in right. between. It's really wonderful. Our cats love it. We love it. So yeah. That's awesome. Cool. Well, thanks so much for sharing with us, guys. And if you want to learn more about Dave and Tanya, we'll have a link in the description below. But their channel is Let's Turn It Up World. They've got a lot of fun stuff with this Winnebago Echo. So our next hack is coming from Phil and Stacy with you, me, and the RV. And I'm pretty excited about what they're going to show us. And they've got a little bonus thing that they're going to be showing us too. So 
super excited. Let's go check out what they've got. Go on. Knock, knock. Hello. Hey, guys. How's it going? Good. How are you? Great. Come on in. Welcome to, to the castle. <laughs> this is beautiful in here. Thanks. You guys actually Thanks. have a lot of light. Yes. Well, we've worked really hard since we got Ruby. That's the name of our RV to brighten it up, lighten it up. It was kind of a cave when we first got her. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. So thanks. Yeah. So show us your hack and tell us a little bit about it too. Okay, so we're gonna show you two today, and the hacks we wanted to share with you are things that anybody can do. Most people show, you know, their lithium or their solar, but this is something that can change your RVing and for the better, and it's simple and inexpensive. Awesome, love it. All right, so let's go to the closet first. All right, we all know shoe storage is a big deal, so we have tried several things to organize our shoes, and we recently found these, and I love them. So they are clear bins. They stack on each other with these little pegs so they're not gonna move around in your RV. But as you can see, they'll hold several pair of shoes. I have two down here. They keep you organized and most importantly, you're able to use the space all the way up to the bottom of your clothes. So you can find these on Amazon. They're pretty inexpensive and they will protect and keep your shoes organized so you're not dealing through the mountain of shoes every time you wanna go somewhere. I totally love that you're using all of the space from the floor to the top because I know like right now in our closet we have a big gap yes yes well, and like, I and driving down the road they haven't shifted they don't move so don't worry about opening the cabinet and you know them being a mess and if you were to look on Stacy's side there's a completely another stack because her shirts are much shorter <laughs> so that you, you can go a little Whatever. taller <laughs> All right, so Phil is gonna show us an outside hack that he has because this is pretty cool. And then we're gonna do one more on the inside because when Stacy showed us something going on on the inside, I just was like, we have to show that too. But first, Phil's gonna show us an amazing hack that he has done on the outside of their rig. So the common theme with RVs is space, trying to utilize as much space as possible. So out here, one of the bays that we had was only about six inches deep, but it was two feet tall, but you couldn't put anything in there. There was no shelving. There wasn't anything to keep your tools organized and fully use the space. So what we did is we put pegboard on the sides and on the back, and we put a gap between it so we could put rubber ties, tool holders on there that loop into the pegboard. We really maximized all the space, whereas before this bottom row where the bottles are, that's the only space we would have been able to use. So actually, I didn't come up with this brilliant idea. Stacy did. I just did all the work. We did the exact same thing on the other side of the rig. This one was a little deeper and a little longer, so we put the, the pegboard on the back and sides. And this is my hose storage, my tank cleaning. I keep my black tank flush hose separate from my potable water drinking hose on this side. And then this is my Jeep washing hose, it separates the two of them so I'm not grabbing the wrong one at any given time. So this is one of the hacks I'm super excited about, but when Stacy showed me this, we're like, oh my gosh, we have to include that as kind of like a bonus hack. So Stacy's gonna show us some organization. You guys all know organization just, you know, gets me going. And that's what we're gonna look at. So Stacy, show us what you've done. All right, so this is four years in the making. I have reorganized so many times, had so many bins, so many containers, and I finally figured it out. All right, let's start opening this up so you can see all this yummy goodness and all this organization. So these are all very simple things you can find. I've got all of these containers on Amazon, and when you're looking for bins, some of the things to look for is clear. You want to see what is in there so you're not taking it all the way out to dig through it. Two, I learned smaller is better. Hmm? We down to your smallest things. Like these are our little GoPro cubes. These are our small little power blocks. So the smaller your bins, the more time you're gonna save finding your items. Like literally, this has already saved me so much time. Another little thing to remember is you're gonna have a lip here, so you're gonna have to decide how you wanna negotiate that. And I've done it several different ways. For these bins, I actually used double stick tape to add a piece of wood on here so my bottom drawers open easily, but the door still prevents them from opening driving down the road. And other bins that I don't use as often, I just let them hang below the lip and I'll just pull it up to open the drawer. So there are all different ways you can do it. Some of these bins, you can actually stand up long ways, you can um, put them down with wise, but there are a ton of different options for you on Amazon that you can choose from. I recommend measuring all of your cabinets 
giving an allowance for your hinges and your doors as you go to decide which bins you want to use. It took me like a month to figure this out. I got so much stuff in, I sent it back. But let me tell you, it was worth every minute. What's up with the fingers in the drawer? Oh, uh, yeah. fingers! <laughs> like, what is that? Oh, hey. You gotta know! <laughs> this is our rating system for our campgrounds. Look, we have a thumbs up, we have a it's just okay, we have a... It's just eh. So if you go to our channel, we've used them a couple of times as we do our campgrounds. So we have more coming. We just want to have fun with it. You know what I mean? So this is our high five for the best campground ever. So we have a one through five rating now for our campground. So pop over to you and the RV if you want more. I thought you were going to ask or say something about her standing on your couch because you couldn't do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I'm always standing on she stuff and climbing. All the chairs she stands on. Oh, my God. Check it out.